When Ferruccio Lamborghini founded his car company in 1963, he didn't begin with the extravagant supercars we associate with Lambos today, complete with vertically hinged doors and fire-breathing V12 engines. Instead, the former tractor builder and Italian Royal Air Force mechanic introduced the 350 GTV concept, followed by the production-ready 350 GT. Designed in collaboration with Milan's Carrozzeria Touring, the 350 GT was a two-seat, coupe-bodied Grand Tourer with ample storage for a weekend getaway. Lamborghini's initial focus wasn't on competing with Italian rivals on the racetrack. It was on creating a comfortable highway cruiser. Fast forward 60 years, and Lamborghini is returning to its roots with the Lanzador, an electric Grand Tourer unveiled in Monterey, California. This marks the very first glimpse of Lamborghini's all-electric future, reminiscent of the 350 GTV concept from six decades ago, offering a preview of what lies ahead. Described as an Ultra GT, as Super has long been deemed inadequate by automotive marketing departments, the Lanzador echoes its 350 GTV predecessor in the sense that it's a practical grand tourer designed for daily use and long journeys. It's not about flaunting on Rodeo Drive or intimidating its owner on the occasional track day. Unlike the 350, the Lanzador features extra ground clearance and a 2 plow 2 seating configuration. It's not a full-sized SUV like the Lamborghini Urus, but it's also not an asphalt-hugging supercar like the Huracan or hybrid Revuelto. Similar to many modern electric cars, its floor-mounted battery pack raises the design profile, transforming a low-slung exotic into something inherently more practical, yet equally striking. The Lanzador's design is described as inspired by spaceships, with the authenticity only Lamborghini can achieve without blushing. The exterior exudes angular and muscular lines, leaning forward as if preparing for re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. The enormous 23-inch wheels on the concept, designed to reduce turbulence and extend range, further reinforce Lamborghini's distinctive design language. Revealed during an event at Monterey Car Week hosted by Lamborghini, the concept draws design inspiration from iconic models such as the Sesto Elemento, Murcielago, and Countach LPI 804. Standing at just 59 inches, 150 centimeter tall, it's approximately 6 inches shorter than the Urus SUV, with an exceptionally shallow glasshouse. The Lanzador employs active aerodynamics to enhance stability or efficiency, depending on the driver's preference. Borrowing technology initially seen in the Huracan Performance and Aventador SVJ, the Aerodynamica Lamborghini Ativa system now features aero devices tailored to enhance the Lanzador's efficiency and range when in the frugal urban drive mode. Alla then transitions to downforce duties when performance mode is selected via a switch on the steering wheel. Beneath the sleek bodywork lies a dual-motor drivetrain with permanent all-wheel drive, boasting a peak power output exceeding 1 megawatt, equivalent to 1,341 horsepower. This makes it the most powerful Lamborghini ever produced, and by a significant margin. The dual-motor system offers electric torque vectoring at the rear axle, ensuring dynamic cornering behavior. In simple terms, a rear power bias with the ability to distribute torque between the rear wheels promises exhilarating corner exits under hard acceleration. Crucial details like battery capacity, 
voltage and range remain undisclosed since this is a concept car not slated for sale for several years. Lamborghini states that its first mass-produced EV is expected to arrive in 2028. The Lanzador is reportedly powered by a new-generation high-performance battery, promising a lengthy range, but specific figures are yet to be revealed. Inside the Lanzador, the design avoids typical concept car cliches. There are no foldable steering wheels, holographic displays, or autonomous camera drones taking Instagram selfies. Instead, the interior appears fresh and modern, making the Lanzador feel tangible and realistic. The 2 plus 2 seating layout includes two small seats behind the driver and front row passenger, followed by a generous storage area suitable for carrying various sports equipment or luggage. The concept is presented with tailored bags, emphasizing its practicality. Additionally, the front trunk, Frunk, is available due to the absence of an engine in the front, and the large glass tailgate opens wide for easy access, reminiscent of the 1970s Lamborghini Espada. In summary, the Lamborghini Lanzador is a bold step into the electric future, hearkening back to the brand's grand touring routes while embracing cutting-edge technology and sustainability. It strikes a balance between performance and practicality, offering a glimpse into what Lamborghini's electric vehicles may offer in the years to come. Please feel free to share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to stay updated on the latest in the world of technology and innovation. Until next time, remember to keep your eyes on the road and your mind on the future. Drive safely and stay curious.